My name's Tegan and welcome back to our On24 Genius Bar. Now in the previous episode, I showed you the slides and the video clips and now we're gonna go into building the console. So at the bottom, we click go to console builder and then up will come a preset template that you can use. And once that uploads, you can see that all the engagement tools are here. All the engagement tools are here and all that. So now we can start editing to suit your webcast. So at first we've got all of these little tools up here. So we've got console customization. So this is choosing the background. You can either do single color, gradient or image if you'd like. We're gonna just stick with single color. Then you can just fine tune any of the engagement tools, just the shadows, the corner radius, anything like that. The next thing we've got is the engagement tools. So this is just any other ones that are relevant to you. So you can put group chat, help, anything you want to add or take out. Next, we've got preview. So that will just show what it will look like in the end. So we'll go back to that. And the next we have templates. So you can choose any of the templates. You can try them out. You've got video, audio, like anything like that. You can choose whichever you'd like. We're just going to stick with what we have. Then we've got the resize button here. So we can either use this button or we can manually do that just by pulling it out, pulling it back in. And you can also move if you want your Q&A to be on this side, you want this to be moved here, anything like that, you can customize it. And then on the right here, we've also got the name of the webcast that you've already done. And once you've personalized that all to yourself, just say, I want to move this here, move this down a little bit. I can click preview. And here is what your audience will see when in the webcast. So while that loads up, this is exactly what the audience is gonna see when they join your webcast. And after you have previewed your console and you are happy with it, then you're done, it automatically saves. And on the next episode, I'm gonna show you how to utilize the Q&A and the polls function.